he came up with Cicada while we were sitting outside, and we both were like, wow, that would be a good name for a metal band. Let's start a metal band. That's cool. So we did. I got introduced to these guys, and they asked me to join a band called Caught Between the Devil and Deep Blue Sea. It was a five-piece instrumental group, and I was pretty amazed by all the playing. My friend Eric, uh, his grandfather owned a restaurant. Downtown. And downtown, and we used to play there, but then it closed down, so we didn't have a place to play. What did you do? So we stopped just kind of doing that all together, and these two, three started just kind of playing like a couple songs, and I came over one day, and I was like, that's awesome. We try to write everything together as a band. I think it's kind of important to get everybody's influence, get everyone's outside influence on you know, it at once. Fuck! I'm so angry. I do get angry. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I know. So let's try again. Let's try again. Try again. Um, one of us will come up with a riff, and then someone else will build off it, and then someone else. And, I don't know, it's usually almost our stuff Our first real show was at the Westcott Community Center. And uh, towards the end of the second song on our set, my uh, low string broke, and in a fit of frustration, I went to rip it off the guitar and slice my finger open. And uh, got seven stitches out of it. Which was terrible. Yeah. The kids loved it though. not expecting to really do much. We never really had the intentions of like going out of our way to book shows at this point. We only have a handful of songs and relatively new as a band playing with all four of us. So Eddie's right. The fact that we you know we played out of state twice, pretty pretty cool. And we got to open for Baroness. Yeah we opened for Baroness which is sweet. They're like a be lying to say if they weren't one of our influences for the style of music they play. So that was cool. Again at the West Cop. And it was just awesome to have another chance to play there and not have anybody bleed. Okay, if there's any kind of future, it's just, you know, we've all played in other bands and it's all become, it's all gotten stale at some point or another just because, I don't know, you hang out with people long enough, you're going to, you know, people are going to get on your nerves. But we've all been friends now for a while. We've all been playing music and it's just something we do with our spare time as friends. Some friends, you know, go out to bars and drink. Some friends go to the movies all the time. We do all that stuff, but then there's those nights where we just <laughs> get together and hang out and play music. Yeah. So it just works. So as far as the future goes, I'm just concerned about keeping these guys my friends playing music with them.